kinds of things. And sometimes, right, we've heard we're our own worst enemy. And that honestly can go either way. So sometimes we're super critical. The negative self-talk is deafening. But then on the other side, I mean, I absolutely know some people in my life who are just hearts and flowers every day. So many people are being their own distraction. And right now, there's like two types of people. There's the, like, we have all this access to information. So there's the people who don't even look at any information at all. And then you have the people that overlook. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people are like looking for facts. And then I had to pull myself out of all this information because I had to say, what is, how am I benefiting? What is the benefit? Right. Like the, the benefit for me oftentimes is just great. So like, I need to replace that with healthy things that are gonna help me grow instead of help tear me down personally. Yeah. Like what can I do? And I feel like we chase the information and then realize like, what am I even doing right, right now? Right. Listen, but there are times that some of us do need to like look at the circumstance or situation for the awfulness that it is. Like we, we just have to face it. And, and that coping mechanism is important. We sometimes think that I don't want to feel anxious. Therefore, I don't want to feel anything like that. And that's not honestly healthy either. It that's doesn't right. equip you to really deal with you what you have. You have to deal yeah. with it. Being used to having to be an othered or only or being an independent contributor. And I feel like at when you're in a remote workforce, everybody feels like an individual contributor. Like you feel sometimes, even though you know conceptually that there are a lot of people, I feel like sometimes it feels really anxious, like you're in this all by yourself and being embarrassed because you're saying the different, what the expectations are, having these wrong, uh, like misalignment of what's actually expected causes more harm than good. And also it keeps you from being productive. If you could just tell people, I don't know what this is. Yeah. And sometimes I like, I feel like I'm giving up, but I'm not giving up. It's like the best thing where somebody will say something and ask me a question and I feel like, I want to push back on everything and then I'll be like, no, let's just move forward and see what happens. And then it works. It may not be any different than people, for those of you who have like in office or, or on location workforces, there are people, if I go and interview and say, hi, good morning, how are you? Do you feel like you do most of the work around here? You darn right I do. Nobody, this one over there does not, you know that there are going to be those people who feel that way even in the workplace. So. I'd say, you know, one of the things to be thoughtful about is defining responsibility. Like what are those items that are being worked on and to what degree are you responsible, accountable, right? And really it could have more to do with appreciation for the fact that they do it and nobody recognizes that. I hope you make it a really, really great day. Yay! Thanks for being here, everybody. Cheers. Love y'all.